the human superculture of greatness at a glance. A word of caution. Ideas of lifting oneself up to some superior position are always fraudulent and always aimed at people suffering a terrible poverty of mind. The whatever leaders that present a shortcut to self-betterment in growing up are always actors and criminals. There are no shortcuts to greatness, just like there are no shortcuts to growing up. In fact, the simple definition of greatness is simply growing all the way up. A set of lectures on this subject is merely a way to sell you an impression of greatness. The real thing cannot be bought and it is not for sale. Today, greatness arises from authentic friendships across time with all the world's greatest thinkers. A friendship with the author of a book you are reading is the only way to properly understand it, and in befriending a philosopher and thus understanding their way of thinking, you cannot help but to pick up the best parts of their culture of greatness. This is a unique time in human history, because just recently we invented public schools and just now learned that they are probably not working and are certainly ineffective. We can't be certain if they ever really worked, or if students were always just forced into pretending. Beyond schools, Using money as a prime mover of everything, from a poor family putting food on the table to very wealthy people at Wall Street, for example, trading with abstract concepts, from a greater perspective, time and again, seems to be causing economic failures and taking us back to war. Money may not be as stable as the world believes it to be. Most importantly, ineffective schools are failing to lift communities all around the world to higher cultures. Despite what standardized education teachers are saying or hope to believe, a teacher is, in fact, a kind of a parent, and certainly a guardian. Cultures that push children into uneducation, crime, addiction, violence, indoctrination and servitude can be corrected with inspiring and effective schools. However, today we see that high school and college can actually push children into addiction, and they certainly push them into poverty, not only by taking every penny they have, but also every penny they can get via student loan programs, and this debt cannot be forgiven by bankruptcy. Finally, Culture of greatness is a superculture that extends an invitation to all. It is a culture of greatness of heart, of greatness of mind, of great class, of clear thinking, of knowledge and the resulting wisdom, and transcendent of our own limits. It is a culture of leaving behind bad ideas and avoiding the repetitions of mistakes. The culture of greatness extends all other cultures into standing up for goodness, for human rights, for equality, and above all for world peace. 
It helps the children that we are failing to protect to independently discover their own meaning by walking into the philosophy section of the local library and not leaving until all is light. The finest way to begin is by making use of this unusual invention of narrated books. They are no doubt shamed and looked down upon by bullies, but they are in fact music to our ears, and libraries will fight tooth and nail to make them available free of charge. Two starting points come to mind. The beautiful story of philosophy by Will Durant and the wonderful giants of philosophy voiced by Charlton Heston. These two works represent an introduction to many great beings across all human history. They are an easy start of a quest that is sure to take an entire lifetime. Be messy when listening and re-listening to your philosophy books. Pack a backpack. Live in a tent for a while, even if it is in your own backyard. No that every great being that has chosen to share thought about you, cared about you, and saw you as hopes and dreams. In their weakness, far out on the edges of their limits, they trusted in your strength to understand and rise to stand on their shoulders. Whoever you are, wherever you are, no matter how bad it gets, make sure that philosophy books are playing in your headphones. They will heal you, replenish you, protect you, and gently and privately carry you into the culture of greatness.